Hey everyone, so in this section we're going to be talking about data science as a potential career path and what degree is actually going to best position you for a career uh, in this field. So over the past few years, we've really seen a massive emergence in the data science field. What you've probably noticed is that many tech companies have found ways uh, to collect big data in ways that they haven't been able to before and to actually commercialize some of this data to get a better understanding of their users, their customer base, to be able to better serve them in the marketplace. Now, this has actually found its way into a bunch of different fields as well. So healthcare is a great example of this, even government to a certain extent and, and pharmaceutical companies and some other industries as well. And so as a result, there's been a high need for people who have a background in uh, data science or in data analytics to be able to help organizations with this new initiative. Now, many people who go down this path uh, typically do have a STEM-based background and very specifically a quantitative-based background. So typically a bachelor's degree in mathematics or statistics, maybe physics or computer science, depending on the type of data science or data engineering if you're getting in a little bit more into the infrastructure side of things. Some people might even specialize in machine learning and, and do some really innovative things in that space as well. In a lot of cases, some candidates might have master's or PhD um, degrees in these particular fields that will help to supplement their education. However, because these skills are in such high demand, there are opportunities for students who are graduating at the bachelor's level or even some non-traditional candidates who are either self-taught or they're self-directed. Uh, maybe they've attended a coding boot camp uh, or they've done one of these other online uh, certificates or diplomas that have allowed them to gain the relevant skills to be competitive for a position of this nature. One of the things to actually consider is having a background in mathematics and statistics is going to make it a lot easier and a lot more manageable to learn the relevant skills that are going to be uh, important for this particular role. So traditionally, a lot of statistics students might have had to learn uh, SPSS and SAS. More recently, uh, people going down the data science path might be focusing on things like Python or uh, programming in, in R or SQL. And, and Newer technologies are constantly emerging as well. Having a background in statistics and mathematics is going to make this learning process a little bit easier because there probably has been some level of exposure to some type of statistics programming at some point through their undergraduate studies. However, one of the biggest things to really understand is to understand how statistics and data science itself fits into the broader picture. And that's really where the education is going to be a little bit more uh, important. Another thing to really consider is what relationship relationship you feel like you would like to have with industry. So whether you'd like to get a role within an organization, either at the junior data science level, or maybe even a data analyst. So analyzing a lot of the data that the data engineers are able to kind of build and the data scientists uh, are, are able to extrapolate, or perhaps you want to work at the advisory level and be a consultant. Um, that's been a huge emphasis for some of the biggest consulting firms in the world is not only working with organizations to be able to collect some of this data, but to also make sense of some of this data uh, and, and to make their business decisions based on the data that they're now able to collect that previously they probably haven't even been tracking. Depending on the route you actually want to go, the level of experience and the type of degree that you're going to need is probably going to be significantly different. So it's very important for you to understand what relationship there you'd like to have. The other thing to, to really consider is the fact that having an internship in these types of roles is probably going to be something that will help you uh, learn the specific applied skills that you might not necessarily get in the classroom. What you might find is particularly if you're coming from a math background, you might have a lot of theoretical background that'll make this a little bit more um, easier for you to grasp conceptually, but you might not necessarily have as much applied experience that you would get either on the job itself or going through some self-directed programs uh, on your own time also. It's really important to, to really consider what area of data science you'd actually like to go uh, down as well and how you kind of want to carve out your career as well. The really interesting thing that a lot of technology companies are doing is they're allowing candidates to kind of carve out their own uh, path in a lot of ways because this is such a, an emerging, a newly emerging um, a field in a lot of ways. Um, it's really changing the way companies are actually collecting and using data to make better informed business decisions. And so for this reason, a lot of companies are still trying to figure out which 
data they should be collecting, what it means for their organization, and how they can use that to leverage some of their own product roadmaps or strategy roadmaps that they're building within the organization as well. So being able to convey how you're able to use the data within an organization to help them make uh, better business decisions or to improve their processes or cut costs is not only going to exemplify that you have the technical skills to be able to help them solve some of their most challenging problems, but it's also going to show them that you have an understanding of what this means specifically to them and their business as well. So hopefully this provided you with a general overview of data science itself, what things you should kind of uh, expect to uh, learn through your undergraduate program. Again, it's probably going to require you to come from a fairly strongly um, rooted education uh, in, in the mathematics or in something very quantitative. Um, so this is definitely something for you to think about as well. But again, it's also something you should supplement with some of your own self-directed study, uh, particularly if you can draw a correlation between where it is that you are and what specific organization you would like to work in, uh, understanding what languages that they, they program in, understanding what uh, technology uh, infrastructure that they use as well, so you can better familiarize yourself with that and be a lot more competitive in the technical interview as well. So I hope this, I hope this has helped you. If you appreciated this, make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any comments, questions, and concerns, please leave that in the comment section below. As always, thank you so much again for listening, and we'll see you in the next one.